Thank you. The growing controversy of your state license records being turned over to the federal government is now costing at least one man his job. The director of the Missouri Department of Revenue resigned today, but there's more finger pointing. Matt Sesney, you spoke with one congressman who's upset. He told you the feds may not have received the info. Yeah, that's right. Missouri Congressman Blaine Lutkemeyer says this whole thing is ridiculous and he says he's furious. He says the Social Security Administration is now telling him that they weren't even able to read the data on those disks containing information about concealed carry permit holders in Missouri. But that's not stopping him and others from still demanding answers. We don't want our data being shared with the federal government. Conservative author Bill Hennessy sums up what has him and others up in arms. The data sharing between the Department of Revenue and the feds apparently forced Brian Long to step down as revenue's director, as Republicans from Jefferson City to Washington, D.C. are now clamoring for answers. There's a lot of things here that we need to continue to look at, and I think it, it begs the question of what else is going on. Who's being, what, what is there a cover up? What, uh, who's at fault? Uh, what are they trying to, what's going on? I, I just, I'm very concerned that because of the things that happened, that there may be something else here that we need to keep digging to find. Congressman Blame Luke DeMeyer told me rules were broken when a Social Security Administration investigator asked the Highway Patrol for the info on concealed carry permit holders in Missouri. It's uh, privacy with the uh, gun ownership. We don't want the federal government compiling a list of who, who owns guns. We believe that under the uh, Second Amendment, we, we're uh, afforded that, that protection. The feds insist they never were able to read the data from Missouri and the disks they received have been destroyed. But the controversy here is far from over. Matt Sesney, News 4.